Hi everyone, welcome back. Part two being body hair. I don't think there is any makeup here actually, because I've just been building and building as opposed to using things up to the bitter end. The odd body SPF and fragrance. Uh, I'm going to start with two body SPFs. Now there are numerous reasons for this, mainly being that I give most of my SPFs of the body to my children who have had holidays. I have not been anywhere. I mean, look at me, the beginning of August. But I do have two. This is what we use on the babies. This is Essential Ultra Protect SPF 50 Plus. I think this one is actually from last year. They've made it again this year. Essential is an online retailer in the UK based in Wales. They had this SPF made in Australia, so you can imagine the standard. And they basically, it's a whole thing where they are gifting one to children in deprived areas via their schools for everyone bought. And last year, I can't remember, but it was thousands they gave away. So brilliant shout out to Essential. Fantastic SPF 50 plus, completely safe for your kids. Um, actually, this might be the new one because the ones last year we had like little ones with little tags on them from the Tangle Fest school bags. Yeah. Anyway, we've mullered it. So there we go. This is one of my favorite sprays, Meso Protect Anti-Aging Body Sun Mist SPF 30. Looks like this, a uh, Spanish brand. I love Meso Aesthetic. Uh, I trained with them in Barcelona when I was doing peel training years ago. Just super, super easy. Just remember with sprays, you are more prone to burning. You do, if in doubt, shake. If it makes that noise, you definitely have to shake. And you should apply it so that it looks wet, as if you were spraying hairspray on yourself. It's, it's not like, hang on. Yeah. Oh, no, it's like a snare. Oh, there we go. If I can get a little, oh, that wasn't too bad. So it looks like this. And then obviously that would be more, but you need that kind of level. It can't just be like a super light mist. It's not Jesus in a bottle, it's an SPF. You have to use it properly. Thank God I didn't just offend all the Christians in the world. <laughs> Jenna Hardabee. <laughs> Body washes. Oh, okay, this is always going to be here. Obviously, it's been six months. Obviously, I've moved, used more than this. But once I know I've got one of these in the empties, I'm not going to keep like 27 of them. But original source, mint and tea tree. It's a go-to for just a wake up in the morning. I've talked about it before at length. It's minty, it's fresh. It sounds like I'm describing a toothpaste, I'm not. Uh, just remember to be careful when you use it around your nether regions. We've also had that discussion before. This, I use this down to, I cannot get this last bit out for the life of me, but this is Clarins Tonic Bath and Shower. I used this in the gym when uh, I first started going at the beginning of May and it lasted uh, five, six weeks, I want to say. I'm still using it come mid to end June. I've used this for years on and off. Tonic oil is what I used through my last two pregnancies, helping me not to get any stretch marks. Love Clarins, love Tonic, can't go wrong. Again, they have a theme. They're all uplifting, um, loud. I like a loud shower gel. Oh, and Tonic is sort of a fresh, heavy citrus, but it doesn't smell like orange or lemon. I am actually the best person in the world to describe a fragrance. This is this I've learned. Let me get all these out the right way because I've got loads of these as well. Uh, okay. Oh, probably my number one of all time, fresh sugar lemon bath and shower gel. Looks like this. Actually, I should keep these pumps because they're not that easy to get now and you don't always get, they usually sometimes like come like this and there's no pump in it. I'm gonna keep these pumps. Oh my God, honestly, the smell of this, is heaven in a bottle. And when I run out, I usually order this from, oh, that's been in there a bit too long. That's on the turn. <laughs> Who knew a shower gel could make you curl your top lip? But this one is delightful. Um, I order these from Cult Beauty and I order three or four at a time. And then I make them last me months and months, as you can tell. I don't get them sent from the brand, more's the pity, but I do use any kind of Cult Beauty discount code when I can get it. Put your money where your mouth is. I love it. If I'm telling you to buy it, I should be willing to buy it too, should I not? And then I've got three of the body creams now. Or body lotion, as they say. Sugar lemon body lotion. They look like this. Again, I'll be nicking the pump out of this one before it gets binned. Let me see if I can get, let me see if I can get anything out. But this, oh, yep, yeah, hang on. Just enough in the lid. Look, oh, this I use tits and up. 
So it's arms, arms, decollete, and that's it. I am not gonna waste fresh body lotion on my feet, on my legs. I'm sorry, I'm very grateful for working feet and legs, don't get me wrong. However, I want the scent up here. Oh, it's a dream. Ah, We can pause it there, because I think I've got it all over my face. So below the boob is South End, above the boob is Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I think that's actually why you were in my subconscious. I would say so, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's five fresh items in six months, and there's at least one of each on the go. Now this, wait, I need, where's me? Where's the goddamn tissues gone? There was a box of tissues. Run out of them. Oh, did I? Did you bring the box? Have you? No, no I had the box. Oh, it's here. It's right next to me. I'm actually blind. Take oh, notice. Fabulous, well done, Caroline. Let me just wash my hands. Oh, fucking, I get no respect around here. Just piss taking bastards constantly. You just took the piss out of South End. People well, think I'm from South End now. Yeah, they are. You might as well be though. I wish I was. You wish honest. you were. How much do you love South End? Um, I'd say it's in my top ten. It's in your top ten well, after no. football. football. Nan. Nan. You, ow. <laughs> you fucking sucky ass. <laughs> <laughs> Even Simon's just giving me side eyes. Yeah, 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 all right, whatever. Like, we come before, after you know. Abby Clancy as well. Actually, no, after Abby Clancy. Might be before. I'm going to get in touch with Abby Clancy. No, you can't. Because this one, this one here, KG, aka oh. the angry dwarf, depending on what day it is, yeah. and what day it is in your cycle, let's be honest. Fair point. Is obsessed with Abby Clancy. Now, I don't know why, and I don't mean this as any shade to Abby Clancy, but she's just recently started talking about it a lot. Um, Podcast? A yeah, yeah, I am. Okay. Abby Crouch, it's, it's very good. This isn't a, we should cut this out. This no, no, we're definitely good. keeping this oh, in. Oh, no, terrible. Um, but I can't listen to it too often because then I start talking, I come from Birmingham, don't I? Okay, so KG also has this weird thing where she'll <laughs> listen to Scousers and it makes her speak with yeah. a brummy accent. I can't, I, I mean, there's no explanation. So. I did it when we got back from Liverpool tour. She really did. Yeah, she was talking like that. We were like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Anyway, back to business. So Abby Clancy, hit me up, please. This is not quite empty, but it's going to be soon. And I'm putting it on here to remind me I have to get another one because it's you beauty. Oh, you beauty. She's not Australian. Failed opportunity there from any Australian brand, I think. Yeah. You beauty, the super body hydrator. Now, this is expensive, but I have others in here that are two pounds. So save it, don't give me a hard time. However, this upper body again, because when I go to the gym, I take this. And when I have a shower day to day, I take, I have this at home. This is bigger than this in my gym bag. That's the way my brain works. But the U Beauty, it's gonna go up an arm for you here. And I don't wanna waste it, but I am gonna use a little bit. I mean, a teeny bit. I have had this for at least six months. I had this before last Christmas ages i do one sometimes one and a half pumps every time i go to the gym and it's still going i don't know when it ends it still feels like it's got a bit of weight in it i love it it's expensive if you can't afford it don't buy it but as far as body moisturizers go it's damn near perfect it doesn't even have a particularly strong scent normally i quite like a punchy one it's hydrating. What I love is it's hydrating, but it's so light. Like if I do this on my legs, I've got to wear jean shorts and no one needs to see that. Do you know what I mean? I'm not on holiday in Tenerife. <laughs> Let's be frank. I'm going to the gym, but I ain't going to have a body like Cindy Crawford at the end of it. Let's be real. But this is so light that I can put it on my top half and I don't feel like I'm going to die trying to get dressed again when I come out of the gym. That's why it's in here. I bloody love it. If you can't afford it, don't credit card it, because I have much El Cheapo options for you coming up, trust me. In between El Cheapo, Summer Fridays. They're gonna love that as an ad. <laughs> Hi, can we use that clip where you call us in between El Cheapo? Uh, hashtag none of this is an ad. Summer Silk Nourishing Body Lotion, Summer Fridays. Now this, again, because of the texture, is tits and above. If you are an influencer and you live in California and you have billowing curtains coming in from the Pacific Ocean, by all means, knock yourself out and film yourself putting this on your legs. Again, I'm not wasting it on my tree trunks. Do you know what I mean, Brian? This, this, tits and above. All the body creams I've shown you so far is tits and above. I'm gonna show you the neck down in a second, but love this, love this. It's very rich. It does, it does rub in well, but there will be more of a, like a glow residue left. So if you like something that dries really quickly, 
go with you beauty if you want something that's scented and it's all about the experience and the scent you're going with fresh just putting that out there now as always you may be able to tell that these have been on offer recently garnier body repair i do buy them they were two pounds 72 in super drug up until last week and i bought 10. then someone messaged me and said caroline they're two pound 47 or something in morrison's which is a uk supermarket so i shared that on insta too not an ad i buy it i have bought it for I mean, over a decade. And now I have American friends ordering it and paying ridiculous money to get it in. You don't need to, you've got good body lotions. I just like this one. It's cheap, it's cheerful, it hydrates. It doesn't leave you sticky, it doesn't leave you clammy. You can get dressed straight away. And if I'm traveling, I am happy to just take one of these and also, <laughs> I'm just gonna use Jim's favorite word that he hates, dregs. I'm happy to take one of these with just the dregs because I know it'll last me two, three days and I can chuck it. So I've probably used more than this, but looking at it, you're looking at one a month. And I start at the leg, come up the leg, all around the tum, under here, and then the rest is expensive. Remember, South End, Vegas. So that is Garnier Body Repair. You're welcome, Superdrug, who sold out twice, thanks to you lot on Instagram. Also not an ad, just a public service announcement. Hand cream. I get through hand cream, but it takes longer because you don't use it as often. Clarins, I mean, who hasn't heard of Clarins hand and nail treatment cream? It's, I don't, oh, yeah, dregs, never mind. Um, you can get it, you can always get it as a sample size. Just, could you stand up right, boys, thanks. You can always get it as a sample. You can always get it as a GWP with Clarins. Oh my God, I love the smell. It's just memories. Really lovely for your hands. There's not much else to say. It's an iconic, heroic, legendary hand cream. I've got two left. They swing from daily cheapest chips to a fragrance. Speaking of cheapest chips, this is probably my most used deodorant of all time. This was also on offer. Can you imagine how heavy my bag was the same day that I found this? This was two pounds and I bought 10 because I go through one of these a week. I go through one of these a week. Uh, what I will say, and this is gonna sound weird, but trust me, make sure your armpits are completely dry and the area around them before you spray this. Otherwise it goes like white and bubbly and falls like snowflakes all over your carpet. That's attractive when you're trying to clean it. But <laughs> again, shake. I will get a bit out of this, hang on. Super light, no scent. I do not want a scent to mask my armpit. It's a, it's a deodorant, it's an antiperspirant, it's gonna do the job. I don't wanna smell like flowers. I wanna do that with my fragrance. I just want this to kill potentially smelling like a horse after a hot day on the farm. And then, honestly, I'm a bit distressed because I'm getting through these at a rate of knots and I've only got like two left. Oh God, dregs, dregs. We're gonna put, call this empties, dregs. Neotantric fragrances, I am a sex goddess. I'm saying that to the camera, not to my cameraman who's sitting behind it with his very pregnant wife. Um, although it is a picture of two girls looking up a man's jacksy, so I don't know what to tell you about that. I can't be, you're not seeing the back, look. Look, look, Can you, if I put my hand there, you'll be able to see it, hang on. It's two girls like out on a drink, ah, looking up some bloke's balls. Look, it says ladies fragrance, which is a bit sexist if you ask me, because this is this could be nice and unisex. This is a lot of like, what do you describe it as? Like musky, yeah, but vanilla -y, fresh. fresh. It's got a bit of peach in it. And I've never been able to find anything that's even vaguely similar to it. So when they are empty, I unscrew the lid and I put them in my knicker drawer. Not because I need my knickers to smell like a sex goddess. It just gives like a general, you know, waft of something if you want to put i have socks with my knicker drawer i'm not giving you too much information but i'd like it to smell fresh do you know what i mean so here yeah. <laughs> uh that's neotantric fragrances if anyone can get me any on the cheap i'll buy it in bulk thank you very much and that is body part two part three hair <laughs> this won't take as long because i tend to buy in super size mainly from b and m if i'm honest although super drug do a good bargain bed head i'd just like you to know but B&M specials are these. So this is Bedhead uh, Recovery 2 Shampoo and Bedhead <laughs> Resurrection Damage Level 3, which tells you a lot about my head. 
I buy them because they're cheap and they're huge and they last so that whenever anyone comes to our gaff and takes a shower because my kids shower and open my fridge the minute they get to my house. I don't know what to tell you. It means that they don't go through my really expensive stuff that I hide and use in my gym bag. <laughs> so that is bedhead. Love them both. Depends on your level of damage, apparently, which we could go into. Okay, and then Catwalk by TG. This is conditioner, oatmeal and honey. Three of these. I use more conditioner than shampoo. I don't know how people get through shampoo before conditioner, especially if you've got long hair. Just really, really nice. It says color safe, but I've got to be honest, everything destroys my color. So since I've been going to the gym three, four times a week, which I only mentioned in the context of hair washing, I sweat in a way that you would think I was actually near death. I sweat like a racehorse at the end of the Grand National. It's not attractive. And there are people there who work out in their full jewelry with a blow dryer and I don't understand it because I come out of there looking like I've been rinsed by Rocky Balboa. But <laughs> I have to wash my hair every time I go. And so my color is fading really, really quickly. But you'll see that this is all mainly just things to like condition, care, put in a bun and detangle because that's kind of my life now. The weekly blow dries are out the window. I don't have time. Um, so there's lots of conditioners. There's two more here. Uh, Orbe, Gold Lust, Repair and Restore, and Hair Alchemy Resilience Conditioner. My colorist made me use this one. I think I was sent Gold Lust. The Gold Lust is nice. It's kind of sexier if you want that kind of shimmer. But to be honest, this is what my hair looks like five days out of seven in the week. It's in a bun. It looks like it has a bit of shape today, which is a miracle, frankly. It says massage indulge for at least one minute. There's no indulging. I'm showering in the gym. My indulgement is even using a conditioner at this point, but they're very good. I love a bit of Orbe, or as one of my kids called it, Aribi. Uh, for Kai, Multitasker Baby Blonde Brightening Air Dry Cream. Now, this is not purple. I don't use purple blonde things on my hair because my colorist would get very annoyed with me. She says not to, so I do whatever she says. Um, but Air Dry Cream, this one is empty. The packaging is a bit weird it's like it's been wrapped so it doesn't really look it but it is empty I've used it up I basically spray what I'm going to show you in a minute wash condition spray whack a bit of this on whack it in a bun and usually hairspray it and I'm done for the day if however I am blow drying I love the smell of this I don't buy it a lot and I do make it last because again it's like 20-ish quid probably 28 something like that smoothing taming milk blow dry care for unruly hair I think people are very rude about the way they describe hair. Damaged and unruly. It's like my childhood school reports. Right. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like it's rude, damaged and unruly. Oh, well that does. But you know, this smells, it smells a dream. And if something smells nice and it's in my head, that's kind of all I can ask for. Is it nourishing? Is it hydrating? Is it gonna stop my hair from breaking off? Good, let's go. But that's Kerastyle's Discipline. Again, named after unruly school reports. I've got two most used products so far, and one of them is a new version I bought because the old one is battered and I forgot to bring it, but I'll show you. I'll maybe superimpose a still of it. Simon can superimpose a still of it. So the one that I've used the most is the JVN Complete Air Dry Cream. Now this is my new one. The one I have at home could injure you because it has been, so I copy what the colorists do. You know, you see them and they do this and they just run that up the side and it makes it go completely flat. It's a trick they use with all the color tubes and I've done it. Anything that's foil, you can do it with. It works brilliantly and toothpaste. But now mine is like, I've tried to get so much out of it that it's kind of like got kinks and bendy bits and it's, it's a public safety hazard. So I will show you a picture of it, but this is my new one. You need the teeniest amount of this. I love it. I got this when he came to film with us in February of last year and I've only just had to replace it and we're in beginning of August, the next year, what's that, 18, 18 months? 18 months and I use it at least three out of four, three out of, no, three out of, how many times? Three out of four hair washes a week. I love it and we love him. So that is my, pretend that that's my empty one and I will show you a picture of my empty one. And then this. Oh look, my actual hair, that's disgusting, I'm sorry. Right, oh please stop. I bought this on a whim in my hairdressers after I'd been for a blow dry a few months ago, Unite Seven Seconds Detangler. As with me, as I tend to be the most awkward biatch around, it's not something you can just openly buy anywhere. It's usually only in hairdressers. Occasionally you can, I can buy it from their supplier, 
but obviously they're not a proper D to C business, so it takes ages to come. Anyway, I then ordered three, and then the brand saw the last, I was at the last empties, or I mentioned it somewhere, and they sent me a couple. But Seven Seconds Detangler, I love it. I love it more than the original Aveda Curescent Spray. If you remember that, then you are clearly of a certain age, but it smells lovely, it works a treat, and I just wash, condition, the London water is hard as a brick, so you have to go, you do, you have to go in with something that's a bit more detangling. I spray it with this and I brush through with my big yellow dry by paddle brush. Then I put a bit of this on or a bit of this clearly and I go in a bun and I'm done. But Unite, they also have, they sent me like a texture spray, a, a root boosting volumizing spray, but the detangler is the one and I think it's much easier to get in the USA. So there, there's, we'll finish on one for you so you don't give me a hard time about showing things that you can't get. You can get all of this in America. Uh, that's it, I'm pretty simple. I'm like a cheap date when it comes to hair. Well, that's it. That is the end of part two, which was the end of part three, kind of. And uh, that's the empties. I would say I'll try and do more often, but we both know that's never gonna happen. See you soon. <laughs>